had one more question about um, some of the symptoms you described around cortisol. Are they um, more prevalent in women, or do men also face it? Just I'm curious, like things like, I don't know, sleep or the other things you described. Is that... Women are much more vulnerable. Okay. So we're vulnerable in a couple of ways. We have double the rates of insomnia than men do. We have double the rates of depression that men do. And we know that 50% of people with depression have high cortisol levels. Women who tend to befriend, I believe, have less of a problem with cortisol. But what I see with men, I mean, what, what the literature seems to show, and I don't know the literature on men as well as I do for women, is that they go into fight or flight and then they recover. Like they're really good at recovering. Biologically, so they, you know, this is true for most men. I'm totally generalizing, but you know, they they get into a car accident, for instance, and they recover. And our system is designed to do that. Like we're designed to be chased by a tiger and then recover. And we're designed to be chased by a tiger once a quarter, or once every six months, <laughs> and not every day <laughs> or four days a week. So that's so the vulnerability is how often our stress response gets triggered and then how we come down. Like men, they have more testosterone, for instance, and the way that they sort of use testosterone is very different than how we try to recover from stress.